Um, I want to bring you, bring you in here briefly. When you first read the news and all of this happened within this week, Dr. Bamiya says, now football age is over. <laughs> now pension age and your age at home is over because right from birth, you are going to be captured until you exit. And then parliaments, you know, the aspect from parliament pops up. And then we hear suddenly the tens of thousands who are faking around the place. What does that tell you? Well, it tells me in a way that something is going on and something is going on right. The first instance is how did they get to know that there are fake people around or fake um, cards around. It means now we are able to compare with a particular system. So that is very important, even though it's something that has happened, mm. but it tells us that something, we are making progress. In my opinion, when I read the news, I was not shocked. Mm. It's supposed to happen. If you already have several of databases and now you are trying to harmonize it, the other one had some information, probably they were not there. So, I, I, I mean, I'm okay with it. I think it's normal, but we need to progress further by looking at how do we get those things off. For example, a typical example is when Dr. Bamoua said that um, we are going to have a race rate at bed. It's the foundation mm -hmm. of what we can make sure that we don't have people later on coming to say any other thing. Right. So another thing is how do we get it at bed? Do we get a number just as we are born or we get it at a hospital? These are instances that we must also look at it so that, and those information must feed NIA direct. Right. So he says, they, they explain that yeah. you get the number, yeah. but I think when you turn, is it eight or so, yeah. then you could access the yeah. card. Yeah. Six, yeah. then you could now access yeah. the card. Yeah, it's true. The number, then I, I normally, I'm not, I don't put importance on the card. Mm. I put importance on the number. And now that number is also your thing. Yes. So that becomes, in fact, when they started talking about the thing with GRE, I was one of the first guys who said that what they are doing will not work. And I'm happy he mentioned it now. We should push all the money into NIA because that is where we can all verify information. When you start to be having those silos, we will always be having those issues. So what it means is that we have a particular database that we can all check our information with. And I think that is what, where we are now. The issue now is how do we move forward from here with some of these issues that we are, I mean, seeing. Then we can... One of the... Nana, you... You are here. <laughs> and you are looking at this project. And now we've come to a point where... You go to bank, you go to everywhere, your ID is being demanded, and some are actually using it outside for certain purposes. And we are told about setting numbers that almost have used it to the equivalence of a passport. Do you trust that if, for example, this government were out, this will be sustained? Because that has been our bane. Before that, let me say something. Um, I have spent much of my time in Finland, which database systems are one of the best in the world. About okay. 20 um, years of my life is there. Okay. And if I see what they are doing now, you see, for a system to move on well, when the sponsors are interested in it, it means it will go on. The sponsors is government. The government. So here you can see almost all the government consistently trying to put resource over there because they know that is what will help them somehow to deliver what they are supposed to do. So in my opinion... And are they really that interested when it comes to the question of elections where they would want the opportunity, as we understand, to manipulate the process and a Ghana card will prevent you from manipulating the process? See, that's that's advantage of having a technology. With technology, you get to a point you can't do anything you just have to get into it. Where we are now, there was a time we were not using biometric for voting, but here we are now. So that's where we are going. There is nothing you can do. You just have to get into it and move with it as it is. So in my opinion, with the experience that I have, 
and with a little discussion I've had with them, and whenever I go, what is going on, I can see that there is the interest. The only thing is that more resources should be pushed over there. In my opinion, the whole system itself can pay itself back because it's data. Um, in the, when you talk about in Finland, the same institution doesn't take money now from the government mm -hmm. because everybody is picking something from there and they pay something to them. So you understand the module that he yes. spoke about? Yes, okay. everybody picks I, something from I was trying to figure no, it out. No, everybody, they, they, don't, they don't... What I know is that we basically are involved in buy and sell issues yeah. here. And so they, how do they, you get They don't money take money from government. Mm. And you know data. Even if you pick Google, <laughs> you will see that most of the things they are doing, they are doing it for free, but it's not free. That's so right. data is money itself on its own. So with time, it will pay itself and it will, it will be the basis of our development in a way. So for me, I have trust in them mm. that they will do it. Even if government changes, um, they have no choice than to continue okay. where we are now. If the citizens insist and yes. we must insist. And we must. Okay. And I see that.